Coming down the wire and it's time to get it. That it is going to be an infinity border because we're about out of time for this month's conquest. We're gonna look at a couple decks, more than a couple decks. It might be able to get you something in the last couple days. We're gonna do this based on data. Not anything that I think, not anything that's like, uh, this is gonna beat everything else. It's gonna be, these are trackers and we're going to see what we've got. And I'm gonna talk about some maybe counts to that a little bit that because these are doing well, especially in the last day or so, you might wanna adjust. So having said that, we're going to go straight to these decks. We're not gonna spend a lot of time dilly-dallying around. Obviously the first one we're gonna look at is untapped.gg. I've got this set up for collection level 3000 plus win rate i certainly could change the battle totals but you know what it's infinite infinite and we've got only a week under our belt here or a little less than that so i want to keep it you know within reason so the first decks we got here thanos lockjaw and i'll tell you what you're seeing a lot of this blob thanos scar magneto for sure and then you've got tech cards mainly shang chi i love the kyara ad here Wave to help get something earlier, I think is honestly very, very critical. Devil Dinosaur is a great, great number five or five cost card because you might be able to play it early. I like looking for things where maybe you play that time stone on, you could do it on two and then maybe play Lockjaw on three along with another stone, or you could even play that time stone on one if you've got Lockjaw on hand to be able to play Lockjaw on two. Different ways you can play around with that or you play with the time stone and you play it on four. So on five, you can play a six, but then you've also got waves. So you can do all sorts of different things. Lots of ways to play with this. Now, I think the leech, oh gosh, he's still there. He's still effective is what it is. I definitely recommend this as being a solid one. It's gonna win you games. Adding Shang-Chi is honestly great. Cards like I'd say even Shadow King are gonna be good as well. They've got Sheenot on here. Honestly, I have not seen a lot of this. I haven't, but I think with magic in here, you could probably do really well with this because there's not a lot of, uh, I'd say Legion plays, but remember the deck we just looked at, Thanos. There's gonna be a lot of Thanos out there, which means Reality Stone to take away that magic. So be careful if you run this one. This one's got a 67.6. The first one we had was a 68.8 win rate. This one's got way more bad it's got what over triple the battles uh as this one does so i'd lean a little bit more and counting on that one a little bit and this is really where sort of the meta is right now we've got two lockdowns let's see what's the difference between these uh not a whole lot honestly there's quake on the one on the right which i do enjoy very much there's a lot of good quake plays both of them have miss marvel jessica jones iron the whole bottom row is the same the really the only difference is quake versus medusa that's up to you everything else is the same lockdown I do feel like it's taking a little bit of a hit, but I think, and the truth is, is the power here is not gonna be as good as the power here, but I do think that it's something that you could do if you wanna try to play well and really be smart about what you lock down and be able to access certain areas and based on what you've got in your hand. Sarah Control. Now I will say this is something I've personally been playing, uh, basically this one, this is sort of that Revis deck. I don't think I have Jeff in the, that version now. This is a great deck. It's friggin' fantastic. The late turns here are amazing. You're going to be able to do a lot of really good things here. Look at this with the Killmonger. I save Maximus a little bit for late. You absolutely are going to surprise people. They're not expecting so much tech cards and the Mobius helps a ton. This is another version of that. Uh, the difference here, what do we got? Uh, instead of Gladiator, we have Ghost, which I mean, I think the Ghost is there just for the cost versus power. Honestly, I don't really see a whole lot in just getting the Miss Marvel. You know, it's, it's pretty solid because you don't I mean, maybe, I guess, well, the Shang-Chi and the Enchantress too, if you want to play that late or the Killmonger. So I take that back. There's some, there's some definite uses there. Last couple we're going to look at during, for the uh, untapped Jot GG site is uh, Dark Hawk Hella. Well, those are two different ones. Dark Hawk's at 62. These are, so you can see the big drop there, by the way. You go from 68, basically, to 66 to 62. So some 2% uh, drop off, another 4% drop off. So you've got 6% drop off in the top six decks. Kind of nuts if you really think about it. These are all sort of in the same boat. Uh, Dark Hawk, I am seeing a lot of Dark Hawk, but with Blob out there, it does make it weaker. Not as weak as it was. It is still a really good deck. I would look at this. Uh, I wouldn't lean on it, but I think the Shadow King and the Shang-Chi are great. They threw a leech in here as well. I don't know. I get a little weary with leech, especially if people are going to carry Infinots in their decks. Uh, I don't know. Be careful. You leech my infinite. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate that. Uh, obviously, they've got the dooms, lot rock slides, etc. I, I think this one is maybe okay. You got to be really good at playing this and be ready to back out when you don't have the nuts for your hand. Hella, yeah, hella is. If you get if you get the this one doesn't have Modok on it, but 
you get the discards you need and you've got hella late and you don't discard her i mean it's a win you know what i mean jubilee out there i think it's solid you've got this is the black knight version of it you got dracula in there this is a lot of goodness uh i mean even with these four uh, i don't know if i'd do zabu honestly because you're not really looking to play those late so oh, solid so i think these are all pretty good is there any other filters we want to try here another and this was in in, in uh infinite infinity tier i think it's solid i i think that again i'm gonna look at that so let's go over to our friends over on marvel snap zone we're gonna check out what they've got i do like the untapped tracker a little bit better just because the fact that a lot of people use that one this one the filters we got conquest last seven days i'm sorting by win rate there's gonna be less games on these as you can see right away move magneto i mean i, I know they changed hulkbuster i don't know i i'm not sure this is going to really do a ton for you uh maybe with the human torch but they don't have kyara in here you're, you're you're really risking it and then you've got heimdall so i mean technically it's got a 72 percent win rate and 1.14 average cubes if you're a good move player that could be pretty solid sauron d's look it's it's sauron sauron's always good i have not seen a lot of this lately it is still really good i think it's going to compete it competes with those higher power uh decks like the thanos lockjaw with the blobs the scars etc this deck should be able to generally speaking keep up with it you really need to get your sar on play if you can so that way uh you don't really have to stress about your red skull giving them uh any extra points but there's no typhoid mary here so they're not looking to have that in this one they've got enchantress they've got the she hulk and the scar uh, the scar to me I don't know if I love that play, honestly, because really there's only two cards you're going to get that reduced by. So unless you're skipping turns early to get She-Hulk down, I mean, maybe you could play it on six with something, but I mean, it's still going to cost two. So what are we talking about? Maybe, maybe Shuri Sauron. That could be solid. All right. Uh, what else we got in here? Shuri Blob variant. Um, all right. I've not seen this. This is a 68%. The average cubes are pretty low here. Let's look at this one. Uh, Hell Reigns Hell. CQ. I don't know what that means, but it's a 68% win rate. The average cubes is two. This is a hella deck. So we saw this before. It's obviously still pretty good. I think it's going to be something that you're going to want to look at for sure. Let's see. Uh, this is uh, a language. This must be Spanish or something, but I do not. Let's just look at it. It's a hella deck again, very similar to before. This one adds the Ghost Rider. I would recommend looking at Ghost Rider when you're doing this. Gambit is not so bad either because it actually hurts your enemy. Something to consider pat pat riot is is this a patriot oh my gosh i have not seen patriot in a long time but it does have a card that i think is being completely completely underused right now valkyrie i have a full asgard deck that i've been playing that includes valkyrie and if you get the three thor the four uh beta ray bill the five jane you on you could potentially win one lane and then on the last because you won't have priority more than likely on the last play you have two hammers you can play ideally another one cost card you put all of those down and then valkyrie and you almost guaranteed to win that lane you gotta obviously pick a lane that they're not gonna have as many cards in but it's a fantastic play that people aren't really expecting and cosmo's not out there a lot so he's not getting the protection or those big cards aren't getting the protection so valkyrie is really a strong card i highly recommend this I talked about this on stream a little bit the other day. I talked about it in Discord a little bit. Valkyrie, I think, is being underused right now. Uh, Patriot, though, I don't know. We'll see. So I, I think I'm going to end it with that. I think there's a lot of these other ones. They honestly, I'm not seeing a lot of these on Conquest. Could they work? Maybe. But I think ultimately, at the end of the day, I think that the ones that we've got on uh, unt or, uh, yeah, Untapped, you're looking at the Thanos Lockjaws. Sheenot's not bad. Lockdown's pretty solid. Sarah Control. This is still where I think it's at. There's still a, this meta is still doing well. Hella and Darkhawk still performing pretty well. But with, again, Valkyrie, you can flip the script, except for on the fact that, you know, Hella goes before you, unfortunately. And, you know, what are you going to do? So that's all I got for this video. I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Appreciate you guys making it this far. If you want to hammer down that like button to further support channel, we appreciate it. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day.